Mm-hmm. Man who releases an album every year, I mean, it's inevitable is going to have a few clunkers in his catalog, Please. you know. But he's, you know, it's always worthwhile to check it back in with him because you, you never know, whenever, whenever you count him out, he's going to blow you away with something. And he, he's, you know, n- numerous times he's done that with me. So I always, you know, I think he should be known. He's totally underrated. And check out some videos from Peter Hamill. I mean, he's, he's, he's a great artist, I think. Now, for those people who can't get past his voice, does, does he, has he done any great instrumental music? Um, he has occasionally on his uh, dabbled in that on his albums, but not that good. I'm more interested in the in the, you know the vocal package and stuff. Okay. The every, the whole package. Right. You know, right. That, that's what I'm interested. In. And he always, whenever he's on the mark, he always seems to deliver. You know. Right. So, and I think that he should be. But I mean, he's a hard sell. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and be. You know. He, you know. It's the same thing with Captain Beefheart. He's a hard sell. But I mean, if you give it the time, you know, it'll reward you. I, I mean, it, it'll, you'll you'll see the rewards in the in, in giving it its time. I think. Okay. So. That's what I think. So last one, huh? Let's do it. Yeah. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> so my last song is uh. A song that came out in late 80s, 89, but I consider it to be a 90s song. It doesn't matter. What matters is it's an amazing song, and it's from uh, Stone Roses. Uh, It's actually the last song on their first album before it was re-released to include... uh, (laughs) Sorry, I just know all this shit in the back. You know what? It might have already stopped because it stopped for no? 20 minutes. No way, dude. Have we been going on for longer than that? Oh, we have like almost two minutes left. Wow. All right, all right, all right. <coughs> so, Tim, with between the mute. Okay, let's, let's just finish it. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, oh. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, this song uh, it was re released to include a song called uh, Fool's Gold. It became a big hit for them in the. In, in the early 90s, uh, 90, 91. So this album was re-released and uh, it included that song. So, But originally this was intended to be the last song on the album. Uh, it's an amazing song. Uh, it's actually, you could say two, maybe three songs in one. Uh, but it's just, uh, definitely you gotta hear it and you make up your own mind. Let's check it out, Stone Roses. I am the. I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. Quite a title. Let's go. All right. That's it. All right. So that that was the Stone Roses. I am the resurrection. Uh, see, I should. I'm such a big fan of Brit pop stuff that I should really already have this stuff in my collection. I mean, it was a great song. I was surprised that you hadn't heard this. I know. I, I like I said. I'm such. I'm into suede. I mean, I'm to all that Brit pop '90s stuff. You know, I'm a. Pro, I'm a child of the '90s, so. I'm into all that stuff, so I should definitely already have this in my collection, and I'm definitely going to check it. I mean, that song was amazing. just took me on a little ride there, you know? It's, yeah, uh, it definitely just, And I thought, is this song over? And then, no, it kept, it kept, it kept, it kept, kept coming back, so it's a great song. song. Yeah. On yeah, exactly, so I'm definitely going to check this stuff. See, I'm learning I'm learning good stuff here. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to check this, uh, this first album out, that was Stone Roses. So I guess that leads into my, my last song. <coughs> by a band uh, from the late 70s, a uh, band called Japan. This is from an album from 1980 called Gentlemen Take Polaroids. Uh, the song is called A New Career. Um, this is another band that I think is really underrated uh, from that era. They weren't around too long. They broke up in 1985, I believe. They had a big hit on their last album called Tin Drum. The song was called Ghosts. It was a big hit, and then right as they had that big hit, they broke up, which is, you know, they kind of, you know, all the momentum they had just you know right. fizzled out. But I, I forget what happened. I believe what was her big hit? Uh, a song called "Ghosts," which is uncorrect. I mean, for for it to be a big, if you listen to that song, it's really uncharacteristic for it to be a hit. There's no drums. It's merely mainly atmospherics with the hmm. with the. Um, sounds familiar. Yeah, it's a great song. I mean, I should have picked that one. But anyway, um, <laughs> that's a good song. But yeah, but it's, that that was a big hit, and uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, they fizzled. out. I forget what happened. I think uh, the lead singer was. It was some sort of he was having an you know, affair with the bassist girl or something like that. He was I don't know some some big fiasco happened. The band broke up. Internal uh, drama. Yeah, internal drama that just you know they oh. just they just couldn't you know function together anymore. 
so they broke up as you know, which just just kind of sucks because you know that last album, the Pin Drum, is also a great album, and you know you could just see them, you know, the growth in that band. Who knows what they could have, you know? He's released some solo albums, and the guy's name is David Silvey, and he's released some solo albums, and they're pretty good, but um, nothing that matches the power of what he had with Japan. Right. Um, so this is from 1980. Uh, great song. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a single. I, I, I know there's a great video of them playing it on the old Grey Whistle Test, that you know British show, uh, where they do it live. It's a great version of that as well. So, but uh, here it is, a new career by Japan. All right. So that was a new career from Japan. Uh, good song. I hear uh, it's got a definitely early '80s. New wave sound, electronic. Uh, it's got a Roxy music kind of. Yeah, thing. it's got, got a little Roxy vibe, music. You know um, I mean? The vocals at first reminded me of Brian Ferry, and then as it went along, <clears throat> it reminded me of Simon Le Bon. So I don't know who. Apparently, these guys came out first. And yeah, uh, no, no. Well, yeah, that, that I always thought the. I mean, I mean, I wasn't around at the time or anything, but I mean, it seems like uh, you know Duran Duran kind of copped these yeah. full style. That's what yeah. I thought. You know, that's what it seems like. You know, uh, if you know the full story again, let yeah, us know. But, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Let us know. But I mean, if you if you I think like that, I mean, if you if we're aware of Japan and you're aware of Duran Duran, and you know, you know, let yeah. me know because I, that's what I always thought. Maybe I want to hear. I want to hear a good yeah. conspiracy theory about this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, maybe I'm not the only one here, but you know, that's what I. That's yeah. what I think. So, all right, so that does it for our show today. Yeah, that concludes the first edition of uh, Sounds from the Attic. You know, let us know what you thought. I mean, I thought we had a pretty good run here. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we introduced you to some pretty interesting artists. Uh, I was introduced to some pretty interesting artists. Uh, the artists I was aware of, but I never really took the time to check out, you know, and we, that's what the whole point of the show is. Exactly. So, absolutely. So, I mean, I'm, I'm taking something away from this. Yeah, definitely. All right, so we're, this is pretty much the basic format of the show, so we're going to continue in this way. So if you enjoy this, keep watching. We'll probably upload one every, you know, one, one, every two, one, one or two weeks. I don't know how the frequency of this yeah, is going to be, we'll, but, we'll, uh, you know, this is pretty much, you know, if you're interested and you want to check out some more interesting stuff, we have plenty more stuff to check, you know, to show you. So keep coming back. Sounds from the Attic. Stay tuned for Volume 2. All right. That's it. Did it shut off already? Wait, what? Oh, you know what? It started another one. Oh, okay. So, I so in, yeah. In so, that little part. Yeah. So, so when I said one minute, it was actually already the second one. So...